transformation will change your life. It will change your life. But let me go ahead and get started. Our topic today for Midday with Tara is, are you investing in the right stock? Are you investing in the right stock? Now, and the reason I gave that topic is this. I speak to a lot of people, so many people, and they say this, oh, I want change. And if you have been listening to me and following me, I've been talking about breaking cycles. I've been talking about um, change. Are you willing to change? Are you willing to pay the price for change? So. I, may, I created this, I came up with this topic because we invest in so many different things. We invest unknowingly in so many different things and we get a return on those things that we invest in and then we get upset and point the finger and blame others when we get the return is not what we wanted. So are you investing in the right stock? Are you investing in the right stock? Share, like, um, go to my face, my other Facebook page at Tara T. Stallings, Inc. Um, like the page, go to my YouTube, Let's Talk Tara. Because I mean, I'm, I'm going to share some information today, even my podcast. Um, um, you can go on my podcast and listen to this again at um, my, on my webpage at Tara T. Stallings, Inc. Tar T. Stallings E. Hey, Veronica, how are you? So, are you investing in the right stock? Now, let me, sh and, and this is what I mean by this because we invest in so many different things, okay? I want to lose weight. What are you investing in? You have a health issue. What are you investing in? I want longer, healthier hair. What are you investing in? I want a great marriage. What are you investing in? I want to be successful. What are you investing in? See, you invest in something, whether you realize it or not, but are you investing in the stock that you want to get your dividends from? Are you investing in the right stock? This is what I mean by this. I had a conversation the other day with a person, and they said, well, you know, I want, and I'm not, you know, this person says this. This is what they says. I want to be successful. Um, by the time I'm 30 years old, I want to have my own car. I want to have my own life. I want to have this amount of money. I said, okay, that sounds that sounds logical. That sounds obtainable. So I asked them, what are you investing in? And they said, what do you mean by that? What are you doing to get that? What are you doing? Because this person that says that by the time, and this person is like 21, 22, by the time I'm 30, I want my own car, I want my own home, I want this amount of money in the bank. But you hanging out with your broke friends, you smoking weed every day, you party and you, and you turning up every day. You're not gonna get that when it's time. When it, when it's time to uh, to go take your dividends out or check your dividends in that account, it won't be there. Not the account for the house, the car, and the amount of money you want in your um, account because you're not investing in that. See, you can't invest in baseball and think you're gonna be a basketball player. Doesn't work that way. You can't invest in. Um, um, fast food and think you're going to be have a healthy body. It doesn't work that way. And then we blame everybody for when it's time. Because see, every investment at certain times, you, you're going to get to pay for it. We're going to get your dividends for it now. Because in investment, whatever you pay in, you're going to have to get something out of it. You don't just keep paying in. You get something out of it. What are you investing in? Too many of us want to certain things or expecting certain things but we are investing in the very thing that we don't want and when we don't get those things we blame everybody okay i'm gonna give this example because uh I, I, this is an example that i hear a lot i hear this example a lot especially from Christians, or I, I start calling, stop calling people Christian. I call them churchians because they ain't, they're not following Christ. They follow in church, but that's another whole topic. Um, but they say this, oh, 
um, something happens in their life. They get high blood pressure. They have a stroke. They have a um, cancer. They get uh, diabetes or something happens in their body. And they say, how did God let this happen to me? And y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. How could God allow this to happen to me? When you don't drink water, you don't eat right, you don't exercise, you don't do give your body what it needs to be healthy. And when you become unhealthy, you blame, because the dividends come. The dividends is sickness. The dividends is high blood pressure. The dividends is the stroke. The dividends is the heart attack. The dividends is diabetes. When you have never invested in your health, and then when it's, when you invested in the stock of McDonald's, eating out, drinking, partying, cake, cookies, chips, you invested in all of that. But when it's time, and then when it's time for you to pay it, because see, they gonna bring you your money. See. You're going to have to, hey, it's time for them to pay you your dividends for your investment. What happens is you upset because that's not what you wanted, but that's what you invested in. See, you didn't want sickness. You didn't want high blood pressure. You didn't want diabetes. That's not what you wanted. That's not the return you wanted, but you invested in that stock. For my married couples, when you're married and you have been investing in discord, you have been invested in uh, hanging out. You have been invested in yourself. Yeah, because that happens a lot. When you have been investing in arguing all the time. And then when it's time, hey, time to pay up. You two in divorce court. That's not what, and then you say, well, that's not what, I didn't want that. But what did you invest in? See, if you, whatever you invest in, there's going to be a return on it. So you have to make sure that you are invested in the right stock. See, if anybody that knows anything about the stock market, st stock market is this. You can invest in Pepsi thinking Coca-Cola going to pay you because you're not going to get that. You're going to get Pepsi. You're going to get your dividends from Pepsi. You can't uh, invest in Walmart and think Kmart is going to pay you. you that, it didn't work that way. You have to invest in what you want. If you want a good marriage, you have to invest in that. If you want a healthy, uh, he to be healthy when you 60, 70, well shoot, 40. <laughs> 40. Because people 30, now they die from heart attack. If you, if you want to have a healthy lifestyle, you have to invest in that. You have to invest in it. If you're not invested. Now, I'm coming live from my salon today. And I did that on purpose. Because I have a lot of people that come through these doors. Great stylists here. Just so happen it's just me in here today. And one of the other stylists, I kind of closed the room door off. But listen. You want to come to the salon. And you want to. I want my hair to be healthy. I want it to be long. I want it to be flowing. You brought this picture in the door. And we say, okay, we do a consultation with you. Well, this is what it's going to take for your hair to be healthy. You're going to have to come to the salon weekly. You're going to have to keep the heat out of it. You're going to have to keep it shampooed and conditioned. You're going to have to do blase, blase, blase. And you say, and it's going to cost you this amount. And you say, well, I don't want that. That costs me too much. I don't like wrapping my hair at night. I don't like eating right. Because, see, when you want healthy hair, you got to eat right, too. You got to drink more water. Nobody wants to do that. I like to drink soda. There is no soda streams. So you have to invest in what you want in return. You can't come to the salon and say, hey, bring this picture. I want my hair. I don't want to wear weave. I want my own hair to be healthy. Well, we're going to tell you what to do externally to get healthy hair, but it's going to take something internally also because health comes from within. You can't eat wrong. Uh, drink sodas, hang, alcohol, smoke weed, pop pills, be healthy on the outside and think you're going to have healthy hair when you come to the salon. You're not. It's not going to happen. What are you investing in? You have to ask yourself, what are you investing in? What are you investing in? 
are you investing in the right stock if you want happiness are you investing in happiness or are you always complaining you have to ask yourself these questions if you want a good marriage are you invested in that marriage are you just living together are you married yet you're single because some people are they're married yet single i share this with you to say this right here um and and what made me come up with that title is this 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 is this is what happens i see young ladies and i'm not throwing shade ladies i'm just stating a fact i'm not throwing shade and please don't take it that way but this is what i see i see young ladies they want to live this fabulous life you want to live this fabulous life and it's nothing wrong with want to live a better life and have a have a better life for yourself but what happens is this you own section eight you get food stamps you refuse to go to work. You refuse to go to school. You got all the ladies tennis shoes, purses. But you but and you broke. You have no money in your account. At the first of the month, you get your stamps. You can pay your you you know you pay your $25 rent and you pay your light bill. But everybody else, and you got your Gucci, you got your Louis, you got your MK, you got your Brahmin, you got all of that. You got all the, the, the name brand clothes and all the four $500 weave in your hair. But your account says zero. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And then I'm going to even take it from there. Because you have people that's not on Section 8. Mm -hmm. Not on Section 8. Got a good job. Hey, Vicky. Got a good job, but you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, the Jacksons, the Lewises, and whoever else. You got all the, you got the nice car, you got uh, you got Louis Vuitton shoes, you got Gucci, you got MK, you got uh, 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 all this this name brand stuff, but your account is in the negative. What sense did that make? What you invested in? And then you say, oh, I want this. I want to live a fabulous life. I want to be, and I hear this, I want to be able to help people. You can't help yourself. I'm not telling you something that, you know, I'm not throwing shade because I was that person. I, I, me, me, my mindset was off. My mindset was off. Every new purse came out, I wanted it. I don't know what happened here. Oh, well. I think my 15 minutes was up on that. Every new purse that came out, oh, I had to get a new purse. I had to be coach. I had to be uh, whatever it was. Dunenberg, whatever. All of this stuff coming down. All this, and I like nice stuff. Don't get me wrong. I like nice stuff. But I like my purse to be nice, too. And I had to make a decision. I would not buy another name brand purse. Because all the, I mean expensive purse. Let me put it there. Because all of them got a name. I refuse to purchase something else new. And my pocketbook don't reflect it. You don't have to hide. You okay? <laughs> Just, this live. Hey. <laughs> so, um. So I had to come to the conclusion, I had to come to the understanding, hey, what am I willing to invest in? I'm investing in something that's not what I, what I really want. I don't want the dividends for this. I'm investing in things that my speech and what I really want, they don't match up. I was investing in foolishness, thinking I was going to get something, uh, um, something different. I was invested in lack, thinking I was going to have riches. You, you understand what I'm saying? So what are you, what are you invested in? What are you put, what stock? You can't say this. And I see this with young people and I call young people, these are millenniums. I see this all the time. You want all that you want. You want the luxury cars. You want. Um, Gucci, Louis. You want all the name brand. You want to look good because you see all of this stuff on TV. And half of those people on TV, they broke. There's props that they use and they ain't taking that stuff home. 
you want all of this, but you're not willing to invest enough in yourself to sacrifice what you want now so that you can have what, what you desire in later. You have to... And that's what an investment is. You have to give up. When you invest in the stock market, you invested in something. You put your money in something that you're not going to see for a while. You're not going to see that money for a while. And when it accumulates, then you can say, oh, wow. This, this was some good stock. Or I invested in some bad stock and I don't have no money back. This wasn't, I didn't get the return that I, that I was looking for. So we have to understand whatever we are whatever stock we are investing in we're going to get that return so you can't say you want to be wealthy you want to be rich and you're spending all your money on foolish stuff you can't tell me that you want to be successful and then you got to define success you can't say hey i want to be uh uh I was sharing with my my granddaughter. She's sick. She said, "Ma," because she calls me "Ma." She said, "Ma, I want to be I want to be on stage. I want to be a singer. I want to be a dancer." I said, "Okay, baby." I said, "So now what that means is this here. This is talking about stock and investment. So that means when the other kids are outside playing, you in there practicing. That means you got to give up playing with your friends." To practice so that you can be good enough to be on stage to be a dancer and a singer. And she said to me, Mom, I don't want to do that. You don't want to be a dancer and a singer. You don't want to be famous. You don't want to be on stage. Because, see, you have to, to, to get what you want, you have to be able to invest in it. And most of us don't want to, and we want it, but we don't want to sacrifice. We don't count the cost of the investment because the investment is going to cost you something. And we don't want to sacrifice for a short while so that we can get the return, a continual return on what we want and get the return that we want. So what stock are you invested in? What stock? are you invested in if it's yourself you got to reevaluate it are you willing to invest enough in you enough in you are you are you willing enough to invest in you so that you can get the return that you're looking for 